Hey, IHM Saints, Father Nick Rotman here, and maybe you're getting ready for your first reconciliation, or maybe you're just learning about uh, the sacrament of penance and some of the saints, but I'm here to tell you a story of a saint to uh, help you get into the sacrament of confession. And so one of my favorite saints uh, in about the sacrament is Saint John Nepomucene. It's a good name. Everybody say Saint John Nepomucene. Now maybe that name sounds a little bit weird, but that's because uh, Saint John was from Bohemia back in the 1300, so far away and long ago. But uh, he has a story that's very helpful for us. The story goes like this. <clears throat> when John was a little boy, he got really sick, and his parents thought for sure that he was going to die. But they prayed really hard to God that God would save their little boy, and God heard their prayers, and little John got better. And so his parents always told him that story uh, when he was growing up, that he was uh, consecrated to God. That means, consecrated means given to God. Given to God in a special way because God saved his life. And so uh, John remembered that, and when he grew up, he decided to become a priest. That was, he felt the way that he could give himself to God. And he became a very famous priest there in Bohemia, especially a famous for preaching about God's mercy and forgiveness. He changed lots of lives. He became so famous that he was even heard of by the king of Bohemia, King Wenceslas IV. And so uh, King Wenceslas said, Father John, why don't you come here and live at my castle? And you can be the confessor uh, here. So the confessor means the priest who hears your confession. And so Father John went and lived at the royal palace. And he became the confessor for a lot of people there, including the queen. Now... When you are uh, rich and powerful like a king is, uh, then what happens sometimes is you get suspicious of people because power often makes people uh, suspicious. And uh, so the king would even be suspicious sometimes of his wife. And so one day he came to Father John and he said, Father John, I want you to tell me what my wife, the queen, said to you in confession. And Father John said, well, I can't do that. Now, maybe you know why that is. Uh, maybe you don't. It's because of what we call the seal of confession. Everybody say, the seal. The seal of confession means that Whatever you tell the priest in confession, he can never repeat to anybody else. Not your parents, not anybody, not like the police, if you did something that was a crime, right? He can never tell anybody else. Uh, and that's because when you go to confession, you're not really telling your sins to the priest, you're telling them to God, right? To Jesus. And so that's why Father John knew that he could not tell what the queen said in confession. So uh, he said, well, I can't tell you. And the king said, now look here, Father John, you tell me what the queen said in her confession, or I'm going to throw you in prison. And Father John said nothing, right? That's why in the picture, he always has his finger up in front of his lips because he wouldn't say anything, right? So the king threw him into prison, and a week later he pulled him out, and he said, all right, Father John, now you tell me what the queen said in confession, or we're gonna 
torture you, That's, which is like when you have, you know, people do really mean things to you to hurt you. Um, but still, Father John wouldn't say anything, even after they tortured him. And so they threw him back in jail for another week. At the end of that week, the king came back again, and he said, all right, Father John, this is your last chance. You tell me what the queen said in her confession, or we're going to take you to the river in the, that runs through the middle of the city. We're going to take you to the bridge that runs over that, that goes over that river. We're going to throw you off the bridge, and you'll drown. Because, of course, back in those days, a lot of people didn't know how to swim. Uh, plus, if you get thrown off of a bridge, it doesn't matter whether you can swim or not. You're going to die from hitting the water so hard. Uh, so that, that's what the king said. Tell me or we're going to throw you off the bridge. And Father John said nothing. So they took him to the bridge uh, in the middle of the city. They went over the river and they threw him off the bridge. And he fell into the river and he drowned. But in that spot where he drowned, all of a sudden, a strange light began to shine. And all the people there in the city saw it, and they all knew what it meant. They all knew that it meant that Father John was a saint, and that he had died uh, to show the holiness of the sacrament of penance, the sacrament of reconciliation. And so that's why they uh, often call St. John the Pumicene the martyr of the confessional. The, uh, to be a martyr means to be someone who dies for your faith in Jesus. And uh, so in particular, Father John, St. John died to, for his faith in how Jesus comes to us in the sacrament of penance. And so he is the martyr of the confessional. And he reminds us that the priest will always keep a secret what he hears in the sacrament of penance. St. John's feast day is May the 16th. So we should pray to St. John the Pumicene so that we, uh, when we go to confession, whether that be our first reconciliation or just every time that we uh, use the sacrament of confession, that we can make a good confession and uh, knowing that uh, the, all that, what we say, is said to God alone and is under the seal of the confessional. So let's say our little litany of the saints. It's, this, this is our first one for the sacrament of penance, so it be real short. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Saint John the Pumicene. Right? Hopefully you remember that the response there is, pray for us, right? So if you forgot, let's try it again. Saint John the Pumicene. In the name of the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Thanks, saints. We'll see you later.